Hey guys, TC Triangle here, and today I'm going to be doing a guide to collecting anime CDs. Um, this video is going to be separated in, into two sections. The first section, I will explain the different types of anime CDs you can collect. And in the second section, I'm going to be talking about where you can buy them and what prices you can usually find them at. Now before I begin, just a disclaimer that this video, uh, the information that comes in this video is based on my own experience in collecting CDs and also from my uh, times in Japan. I've lived in Japan. So it's to my best of my abilities accurate, but you know, there could be errors. And if there, er if there are errors, feel, fe feel free to um, correct them in the comment section. So let's start with the different types of CDs that, anime CDs that are sold. Uh, there are I, I organize anime CDs into six main types. The first type are CD singles. The second type are character CDs. The third type are vocal soundtracks. Fourth type are instrumental soundtracks. Fifth type are drama CDs. And the sixth are radio CDs. So now let's uh, examine each of them in turn. The first type are uh, single CDs. These are usually, um, they usually have very few songs, so for this uh, K-On one, we have uh, Fua Fua Time and Tsubasa o Kudasai. Um, so only two songs are in this. These are usually um, the anime openings or anime endings or sometimes both. And then they'll usually give you bonuses in in addition to the two such as you know you got for this one you got all the off vocal or instrumental versions um there's the guitar version keyboard version bass version drums version you know pretty not a lot that not a lot of stuff in these CDs so the only so you can see there are actually only two songs, despite the fact that there are multiple tracks on these CDs. Like I said, they usually give you other songs and instrumental versions, but, you know, not that much in these. Here's another example from, here's a newer one that came out this year for Monogatari uh, second series. And the same thing here, uh, a little bit more variety, here's the ending of the first uh, the first ending of the series and then they give you two more uh, n different songs that don't appear in the series in the anime itself and then they give you a TV size version basically this is what appears in the actual ending of the anime the one minute approximately one minute version of the song and then for the bonus uh, they have the DVD um, the music video, the making, and the making of the CD jacket. So, again, not too much in these single CDs. And here's a third example from Fate Zero. The jacket itself is based on the series, but if you open it up, it's actually just a standard looking CD. Uh, you wouldn't know that it's from an anime if you don't actually know about the anime. So the first song right here is Oath Sign, the opening for Fate Zero. And then they have two other uh, songs that are from the same singer but don't appear in the anime. And then for the fourth track, they have the TV size version. Again, the approximately one minute version of the song. And then they also have the non-credit opening of Fate Zero as its bonus DVD. So yeah, these are the... CD singles, not a lot that goes on with them. Um, if you really like an anime opening and that's the only song that you like from that series, then these are good deals. But don't expect them to have, you know, all the songs of the anime. Second type I'm going to be talking about are character CDs. These are usually songs that the voice actor for the or actress for the character sings, but usually they don't appear in the actual anime series. 
Um, here's an exception, Haruhi Suzumiya. The last track here, the third track, is Hare Hare Yukai, which is the ending of the anime series itself. But this is kind of unique. Um, usually they don't have any songs that actually appear in the anime series. Um, so these are all songs that are sung by the voice actress voicing Haruhi as Haruhi. Um, and then again, you you only have three songs and then three instrumental versions for these songs. So again, these don't have much material in them. It's just that if you like the character, uh, you sh um, they're going to have a lot of the, uh, I guess, you're going to like the CD because it's going to be just that character and just that voice actress. But otherwise, if you want songs that appear, actually appear in the anime series, these aren't really CDs I'd consider. The third type of anime CDs are uh, vocal collections. And these, in my opinion, are the best, but they're also the most expensive. So here we have the Infinite Stratos Vocal Collection Album. And as you can see, it's got uh, Straight Jet and Super Stream, which are, I think, the um, the openings and ending, the opening and ending of the series. So you've got those, and then you have um, these. The rest of these songs are sung by each of the other characters. So you've actually have a whole song, uh, a whole set of songs that actually appear in the anime um, and so these in my opinion are the ones to collect if you're big fans of the anime so yeah you've got super stream the big hit and then you've got the others each sung by as you can see the uh the characters that are voice that voice um I think the other ones are the other songs also appear in the anime but usually these types of albums are pretty good in that regard. On to the fourth type. These are instrumental anime CDs. So you've got a whole kind of all the songs on here are not vocal songs not anime openings not anime endings just the background music that comes in the show so for example this is Higurashi no Naku Koroni you've got the um, you know the horror themed soundtracks on here um, not much else to comment on basically these are what uh, kind of Western ba uh, soundtracks also come with the instrumental versions of the songs. Um, sometimes these come with uh, these come with the Blu-ray boxes, like the Fate Zero or the Madoka Magica soundtracks that actually came with the Blu-ray discs. But sometimes, like this one, they sell them individually. So yeah. If you like the uh, background music of a particular series, these are the ones to go for. The next type of anime CD are uh, radio CDs. I don't have an example example of these, but basically they're what they're kind of like um, the voice actresses and actors out of character, just having fun, discussing the anime, commentating on their experiences. Um, Basically, I wouldn't recommend, I personally am, aren't interested in these types of uh, CDs, which is why I don't have an example, because I haven't bought any. But, basically, I don't think they're worth the money, but if you enjoy the voice actresses and voice actors and what their experiences are, then I'd say they're worth it. Our sixth and last major type of anime CD 
is the drama CD. Now this one isn't exactly a drama CD in that they're actually songs. Uh, this is actually more of a character CD that I talked about before. But there is a drama soundtrack right here. Now what dramas, uh, what drama tracks are, are basically the characters acting, uh, the, the voice actors and actresses acting in character on the CD for uh, a written script that extends the story. So for this one, it had mainly uh, Rika and uh, Hanyu um, talking about food. Not exactly music, but these types of CDs, if you... Only if you're good at Japanese, like... If you enjoy the characters' voices, then I would say go for them. Or if you're really good at Japanese and you can listen and understand what they're saying. Otherwise, I would skip them because um, they don't really have music in them. So, yeah. And, um, and there are CDs out there that combine or are outside of the six main character, char categories of anime CDs I've listed. So for example, um, Ore Imo, uh, Ore no Imoto ga Konna ni kawaii wa ke ga nai. Um, as you may or may not know, the series has a different ending song for each episode. So for series like these, this particular CD is contains all of the ending songs. So right here. And basically, um, this is a special case because most anime series don't have one anime ending per episode. So this is a special case. Another special case is this one from uh, My Bride is a Mermaid, uh, Seto no Hanayome. Uh, this one is combines the character CD with the vocal album. So this is called a mini album. You can see uh, it's got each of the songs that appears in the anime, but it's sung by the voice actress for his son. So it's kind of a character CD and also a vocal CD. So it combines those two categories. All that being said, um... There are a few things you need to be aware of before you start collecting anime CDs. So, for example, say you like you like uh, vocal soundtracks, but not drama soundtracks. You need to be able to recognize in Japanese what those what those uh, characters look like. So, for example, drama CDs are relatively easy. These are the three characters for drama. Dorama. If you recognize these, you have to look out. When you're looking for CDs, look out for these characters. And make sure if, you're, if you don't want to buy these CDs, then um, avoid them. So for example, um, this CD. It says... Three of the characters here are Dorama. If you look at these, if you look at this song, uh, the track, the name of this song, uh, this track, you'd realize that it's a drama. Um, the other type, the reason I outlined drama is because that's always in Japanese. That's rarely going to be in English. But other, other types are usually labeled. So for example, um... This one says right here in English, Vocal Collection Album. This one this one says, Character Song Volume 1. So, you know, for most of them, they do write out in English what type of uh, collection it is, but just be aware that you might be able, you might need to learn the Japanese characters in order to discern which type of category an anime CD is. The second thing to be aware of is that 
there are TV uh, sizes, as I've shown you before. Um, for example, a, a full a full anime opening song is gonna be three or four minutes long, but sometimes they have the TV edit TV size versions that are only one minute to one minute and a half long. So this particular CD has Irony, which is the Oreimo opening in TV size, TV mix right here. So what that means is it's only going to be one minute and 50, 30 seconds long. It's not going to be the full, the full, um, the full mix that's four, four minutes. Uh, similarly, you know, this Fate Zero has old sign in TV version. Um, Luckily, it also has the actual full song, but just be aware that some songs only have TV mixes, and if you want the full song, you might need to buy another CD. Usually, the anime single CD types come with the full song, uh, so just be very, very careful when you're buying these. And then, another thing to be aware of is that there are mixes out there. Um, remixes of anime songs I've seen these in Japan um, basically they're they they are not going to be the original versions they're going to be either some other person singing them covering that song or it's going to be some in instrumental rearrangement or remix of that song so if you don't want those you got to be very very careful and just check and make sure it doesn't say remix or mix because those words indicate that they aren't going to be the originals. Uh, having said all that, um, the safest way to make sure you get what you're looking for is to copy down the the song name. So, for example, you want uh, the the opening of Fate Zero, which is called Old Sign. So you should memorize that name, and then when you go to buy an, a CD. Look for that name. Look for a CD that has that song. And make sure it's not the TV version or TV size or a remix. That's the safest safest bet that you're going to be getting what you're looking for. So let's move on to our next section. Pricing and where to buy your CD. So first, um, where to buy anime CDs. The thing about anime songs is that unlike other songs... Um, more mainstream popular music they're you're not gonna be able to legally download most of them via iTunes or Amazon because they're not just not available on those sites there are exceptions like I know Lisa who did who does the um, who did the fate zero um, and the opening for sort of online as well she puts her stuff on iTunes and then Claris who did who did uh, the opening for Oreimo and as, as well as uh, Nisei Monogatari um, also put put their stuff on iTunes but for the most part they're not going to be available on iTunes or Amazon or other legal uh, online download download sites so what you're going to the two main sites that I've heard good things about are CD Japan and Yes Asia. Now these two sites I haven't personally used them myself but I've heard that they're pretty reliable maybe a bit overpriced um, also their shipping is not always the fastest or the most reliable but they'll usually get the job done if you're looking for a particular CD. Now uh, I've bought all of my CDs, all of my uh, anime CD collection from actual physical stores. So the one I've used the most is Book Off. There are branches in America as well, but it's mostly a Japanese CD site, uh, CD used CD store. And the reason I buy them from Book Off is because not only do they have a pretty huge collection, but they also give you a pretty big discount. What I'm talking about is if you're buying Japanese anime CDs for the, uh, for the re retail price then you're gonna be paying a lot because the anime Japanese music industry charges a lot for their CDs. 
probably because people still prefer um, CDs. People don't in Japan aren't as crazy about downloading. So the music industry in Japan knows they can charge a high price. So for example, this originally came out as 3,500 yen. That translates to roughly 35 to 40 dollars, depending on the exchange rate, um, American dollars. So, here you have one CD, actually two CDs, for 35 to 40 dollars, uh, original price. Um, it's not super expensive, but it's more than what you'd expect um, an American, an equally popular American two disc set to be. But what I bought this for is 1500 yen, which is less than half of the retail price because I bought it used at Book Off. Um, there are these used CD stores are usually in Japan, but I know there are American used CD stores as well. So let's take another example. This one I bought new. I bought it new um, this is a CD as I said before, a uh, single type CD. So it only has three songs plus one extra DVD and it's sold for 1500 yen, so 15 American dollars new. You can probably get this for 750 to 900 yen used. Um, so for me it wasn't it wouldn't have been that much cheaper. Um, so I decided to buy it new. So it depends on what type of CD you are going to buy. Um, if you're going to buy a CD single, I'd say if you can get it new, then get it new. Because the price difference isn't going to be more than 400 to 500 yen, which is approximately $5. But if you're going to be buying you know, these two disc types or uh, this vocal collection, um, these types also go for really high. Usually over 3,000 yen, so more than 30 American dollars. Um, you can get it half half that price at Book Off or other another used CD store. So I'd say get get these types of CDs used, and then get these single type CDs new. And that's my advice. Uh, I think that's it. That's all I have to say. Um, again, there are six types. In summary, there are six types of main anime. CDs, singles, uh, soundtrack vocals, uh, soundtrack instrumentals, drama CDs, radio CDs, and character CDs. And again, if you can buy them on iTunes or whatever, then do it. But if you prefer physical copies or if they aren't available on iTunes, then if it's cheap, buy them new. If it's expensive, buy them at used bookstores. Or see these doors. Thanks for watching. If you have comment, feel free to comment. If you like this video, subscribe. Thanks a lot for watching.